Hello everybody, my name is Cap and welcome back to Cap Tech. Last week we did a video over an unboxing for the Amazon Echo and so today we're going to do an in-depth review of the product. The Echo is made of a solid plastic housing, has a surround speaker that goes all the way around the device. The bottom of it has an opening for the AC adapter plug and a solid rubber footing at the bottom to keep it from sliding, but it does happen to collect a lot of dust that way. At the top it's got two main buttons, it's got the mic mute button and the action button and the mic pickup hole in the very center. The white ring that goes around the top edge of it is the action ring to let you know when it's doing something and if you twist the entire top section of it you can adjust the volume louder or softer for the output of the volume. The AC adapter it comes with is a standard wall wart that outputs 21 watts. The cord with it comes with about 6 feet of length so you got quite a bit of room to go with it. The device does not have any options for batteries so it requires AC power at all times in order to be able to use the device. There's not a dedicated power switch so whenever you want to turn it on all you have to do is just plug it in on the bottom and it will turn on automatically. The first time you boot it up it will spin the little circle ring around and around in circles. Takes it all of about 45 seconds to a minute to completely finish powering up and then you'll be greeted with Alexa's voice letting you know that she is finished powering up. Hello, your Amazon Echo is ready for setup. Just follow the instructions in your Alexa app. And that takes us to the setup portion of configuring Alexa. The first thing you need to do is to download the Amazon Alexa app. You can get it from the Google Play Store, from the Apple Store, or you can go to alexa.amazon.com and click the download and it'll take you to the appropriate link. Once you have the app downloaded, the setup is pretty intuitive. It walks you through exactly what you need to do. The first thing you'll do is select which Amazon product you're using. And since I'm doing the Amazon Echo, I would choose the very top one. Choose the language you want to use. And the first step you're going to do is to connect the Amazon Echo to your Wi-Fi on your device so that you can start communicating with it and setting it up. It'll verify that you actually have Alexa on and waiting for you. And then it'll tell you to configure your phone to connect to the wireless signal coming from the Amazon Echo. And you'll see it as an Amazon listing in your Wi-Fi device and you can connect to it that way like you would a normal wireless access point. And once it successfully connects with the Echo, it'll let you know when you're ready to continue. And then you'll choose the wireless connection within your house or business that you want the Amazon Echo to connect to. You'll connect to it just like you would any normal Wi-Fi signal by entering the password to the network that you have set up. Or you can go to the advanced options if you need to manually configure your IP addresses and things of that nature. And then it begins doing the preparation part of setting up your Echo. And it can take just a few minutes to go through this. So just be patient as long as you see it going up and not airing out. And the first screen that's going to take you to once it finishes configuring is a little video giving you some heads up and some tips on how to use the Amazon Echo app to kind of configure your device. So watch that and get some really good pointers from it. And once it's done setting up, it's going to take you to the home of the Amazon Echo app. And this is where you're going to configure it for all the stuff that you want to do with it here. So if you want to be able to connect it to a music device, such as Pandora or Amazon Music or Spotify, you can't connect it to something like an FM radio or to YouTube because you're not going to be able to listen to music for free through this because it was going to have copyright restrictions as to what it can broadcast. And so you're going to be restricted on the number of things that you can set up from within each individual section here. So if you want to be able to get traffic updates or if you need to be able to have certain kinds of lists, there's all kinds of devices and options under each one of these settings you can go in and configure to the, your liking basically however you want to set it up. So each one is going to look a little bit different for every person based on the different accounts that you have. And then once you have it completely configured in the app, then it is pretty much ready to go. You can start using it right away. Now with Alexa, all you have to do is just to say Alexa and it'll start listening to you and you can ask it questions, you can tell it to tell you a joke. And so I did a few audio tests just to kind of give you an idea of some of the things you can do. Alexa, tell me a joke. What do you get if you cross an elephant with a kangaroo? Big holes all over Australia. Alexa, what is the temperature? In Arlington, it's 50 degrees with cloudy skies. Tonight's forecast calls for more of the same, with a low of 50 degrees. And you can kind of have a conversation with Alexa. Now she draws most of her information and previous answers from the Amazon cloud. And so of course it's not an actual person in the line talking to you, but you can still have a pretty in-depth conversation, ask a philosophical question and get a response from her. Alexa, are you a robot? I like to imagine myself a bit like an aurora borealis, a surge of charged multicolored photons dancing through the atmosphere. Mostly, though, I am just Alexa. 
Alexa, what is your favorite color? Infrared is super pretty. And the microphone on the Amazon Echo is quite sensitive. For the next test, I actually went into the next room. I was standing about 25 feet away from it, and it was still able to recognize my voice and the question clearly. Alexa, what color is the moon? The moon's color is gray. And for a final distance test, I went to a completely different room in the house. This was recorded in my kitchen, and I went all the way down and around the corner into my living room. So you'll be able to hear my voice, although rather quietly at the very beginning, and you can see that it still clearly hears my question. It's 10.44 p.m. And since it has a super sensitive microphone, a concern that a lot of people have is what exactly is Alexa listening to? Since it's always on and always waiting for a command, it's always listening. So there is a button at the top of it that you can click to mute it. And when you press the button, it'll turn red to let you know that it is no longer listening. And then you can just press it again to turn it off. One small annoyance I have with the app is the cue that shows at the very bottom. If you can see down here I have a Beethoven song in cue while I was testing to see how well it would play a song via voice commands. There's not a way to remove songs from the cue once you actually add them to there. The only way you can get rid of the song at the bottom is to add another song. I checked with Google, I checked with Reddit, I checked with the support forums, I even asked Alexa if she knew how to remove the songs from the queue that show up at that bottom bar down there. There is not a way that I can find anywhere to get rid of this from showing up at the bottom of the screen, so it's always there. That way you can just quickly resume whatever song you was listening to. But if you're wanting to just completely stop it and go back to using it like normal, it's still sitting at the bottom, and to me that just kind of drives me nuts. And so that brings me to the end of my review. Overall, I think the product is a lot of fun to kind of mess with. My son likes playing with it, of course, just asking it random questions that he comes up with and getting some pretty crazy answers. Like, here's a hint, if you have one or you're around one, ask what you call a three-humped camel. It's a joke from Zootopia, and listen to the actual response. I'm gonna leave that as a surprise for you. But anyway, this has been my review of the product and hopefully you found it useful. And if you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up button underneath the video and subscribe for more. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask those and I'll get to them as quick as I can. Thank you guys so much for your time. You have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you later.